Okay guys, here we are in the Chiteche area of Ankata Bay, Malawi. And we're headed back to Mazuzu after a few days at the lake. Just thought I'd show you what the drive is like. And this particular road is pretty good shape, which is very rare for Malawi. Most of the roads are horrible, even the paved ones. But this one right along the edges you can probably see is uh, pretty rough potholes and whatnot yeah see over there that's pretty normal for here that you know chunks of asphalt missing and three or four or five inch drop right at the edge of the road which is fatal for your tires actually if you uh, accidentally drop one wheel off the road in a place like that, your tire's done for. It's beautiful out in here, not very many people. Lots of bush. But you're still there's the lake right there. Yeah, the lake is only a couple of miles from here. And since this used to be a British colony, they drive on the left side of the road. And uh, steering wheel's on the right. As you can see, no steering wheel over here. And you see a lot of foot traffic and bicycles and stuff. Uh, most of the economy in Malawi is, is person to person. Uh, it's one person going and finding something that they can sell, whether it's fish or vegetables or fruits or firewood or charcoal or something. And then they take it and sell it directly to their friends and neighbors. And then buy from their friends and neighbors with whichever stuff that they have might be buying charcoal and selling vegetables or buying vegetables and selling charcoal. It's a big milling company over there. This is a gas station and a dressing saloon which is a hairstyling place. Uh, they always spell the, the word salon as saloon. Not sure who started that, but that's what they all do. It's British. It's how you do. <laughs> Look at them holes. Yeesh. The speed limit on most of these highways like this is 50 kilometers an hour is pretty slow by American standards but that's the way it is probably because there's so much foot traffic and so many bicycles and stuff like that I'm not sure what this place is over here it's a that place mm -hmm. okay Muslim Center uh, they're building something there maybe a church or school but these little shops here that's where everybody buys everything that's where you buy your caskets and beer and practically everything else your furniture I mean I've only seen one actual furniture store since we've been here and that was in Malawi in uh, the long way in the mall um, there's little sh there's little shops that make furniture but I'm talking about an actual furniture store there's little shops all over the place and they'll put two or three pieces maybe a bed and a couple of chairs out in front of their shop That's not what I would consider a furniture store. 
ever come here one of the things you're going to wonder about is how come some of the oldest bridges are in real good shape and some of the newer ones are falling to pieces that's because uh, when in the old days when Kamu Zubanda was the president uh, he didn't allow inferior materials to be used for anything and now they let you know crap come in from China and India and stuff that's just really not worth the trouble of shipping. And now they'll let anything come in. It's not a very good idea for the government to have to rebuild a bridge every five years, but that's what they're doing. forest, whatever you want to call it, around here, bush, uh, it's not coming out too good, uh, in areas like this, you can buy a building lot, a place to put a small house for a couple hundred dollars. US money and as you can see there are just very few houses it's mostly just forest and bush over there is the lake right there Right here, we're only about a quarter of a mile from the lake. Sandozi Beach Resort is what that was back then. A lot of the resorts are not open right now because of the COVID thing, but they don't, uh, they don't really have any way of communicating that to the customers. Uh, you have to... Instead of them putting a sign out next to the highway that says we're open or we're not open, you have to find their, their dirt lane and drive back through all that. And their lanes are usually terrible. And loose sand and big holes and all kinds of stuff. And uh, you drive all the way back there, just, you know, takes you 15 minutes each way. Just find out they're not open. We were looking for another resort to stay at uh, yesterday and couldn't find one open so we went back to the one we started at. We were hoping to try one or two more of them but it just didn't work out that way. I saw this morning at the lake there was uh, I don't know easily a hundred people down there buying and selling the fresh fish they meet the boats when they come in from fishing all night and they'll buy those little tiny fish you hear me talk about called Usipa and uh, they catch a million of them every day or more right there at that one spot and uh, I'm not exaggerating because if you do the math, Malawi consumes about 15 million of those little fish every single day. And that's a conservative estimate. And, you know, if they're eating that many a day, they got to be catching that many a day. That's just how it is. 
but all the people, at least 100 people I saw this morning, I didn't see not one person wearing a mask. And I didn't see much social distancing either. So I'm not sure why the resorts are closed, but it's hard to say. There haven't been many cases here along the lake because it's very hot. There, she's saying there haven't been very many cases here right along the lake. So maybe that's it. Well, we're going to have to stop here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for your time.